Hi, we're here with Rachel from Luxury Daily. And Rachel, do you think the Hogan by Karl Lagerfeld app is useful in explaining the brand to consumers? Um, well, I think that it's definitely an interesting uh, mobile marketing technique to take. Um, I don't think that it really serves much purpose other than being a lookbook. Um, you know, you can send images and uh, products to consume to um, you know your friends and family um, and you can do kind of that sort of thing but you can't really buy from the app um, there is a store locator which I didn't think there was and then I found it um, and you know you just kind of look around but I think that you know watchmakers and automakers and um, you know brands that have products that you can't really buy through mobile don't really like um, you know mobile commerce doesn't really matter but I think that retailers and brands um, that you know who have products that can be bought through mobile. I think that commerce is a really important aspect, but I don't think that a lot of um, you know luxury brands are really uh, doing that. So, what would you suggest that Hogan add to the app if they were to do an updated version? Um, definitely commerce, if you know that's in their goal. Um, you know, or also an optimized site, something like that. Um, I think that a lot of luxury brands are kind of hesitant because they think that it might dilute the brand if it's. Um, I guess I. I guess e-commerce and m-commerce are kind of seen as if you can, um, you know, buy luxury products anywhere, then they're seen as less rare and therefore less luxury. Um, but I don't think that that's necessarily a problem anymore since mobile and e-commerce are becoming such a mainstream part of any retail, not just luxury. Great, thanks.